Kyburn remains Cersei's hand of the queen. As she watches the Iron Fleet returning to King's Landing with the Golden Company, Kyburn informs her that he has received word the night King's undead army has breached the wall and invaded the north. Cersei's response is a dismissive, good. Kyburn is also present during Cersei's audience with both Euron Greyjoy and the Golden Company's commander, Harry Strickland. On Cersei's orders, Kyburn tracks down Esser Bronn of the Blackwater, finding him in the middle of a foursome with three prostitutes in a King's Landing brothel. After briefly unsettling Bronn by informing him one of his female companions will be dead of pox within the year, Kyburn explains that Cersei wishes to hire Bronn and is willing to grant him the castle, lordship, and highborn bride Jaime and Tyrion both promised him, asserting that the original deal involving his marriage to Lolly Stokeworth was scrapped by Jaime, not Cersei when Bronn protests, as well as offering an advance payment in the form of a wagon full of gold for his service. Bronn initially refuses, guessing that Cersei wants him as an assassin to kill Daenerys, but Kyburn instead tells him he is being hired to assassinate Jaime and Tyrion, despite Bronn's previous service to both, for their betrayal of Cersei in the event they survive the undead invasion of the North. Kyburn presents him with Joffrey's crossbow for the task, leaving him speechless, though he is clearly given pause when Kyburn reminds Bronn Cersei doesn't stint in rewarding loyal service, citing his own elevation to the position of Cersei's hand as proof. Kyburn informs Cersei that thousands of people have accepted the offer of refuge in the Red Keep against the invading Daenerys Targaryen. He later negotiates with Tyrion outside the gates of King's Landing, unsuccessfully requesting the unconditional surrender of Daenerys's army. When Drogon starts ravaging King's Landing, Kyburn convinces Cersei to flee Red Keep as it is unsafe and are saved by Gregor from the falling debris while fleeing. They are confronted by the Hound who slays all the surviving Queensguard and wants to fight Gregor, who also wishes the same. Kyburn orders him to obey his queen, when she demands that Gregor continues to protect her, but Gregor simply picks him up and smashes him into a crumbled wall, cracking his skull and spurting blood, before throwing him head first into sharp debris that destroys the back of his head, killing Kyburn. He lay there dead while Cersei walked past him and the Cleganes commenced their battle. 